Hey guys and girls, it's David with Beagles on Fire. Most of y'all already know that, but some may be watching for the first time. I wanted to do a little video shoot today uh, and just uh, encourage you to something that popped in my head. I've got a dog here uh, named Pepper. I'm going to get him out in just a minute. Uh, old Pepper here, he's a... Uh, He's about five years old, I believe. I'd have to look up his birth date. He may be getting a little bit older than that now. As you can see, he is all black and white. He is not really a blue tick. Uh, he's a black and white dog. Uh, named him Pepper because he's got all these specks on him. Uh, reminds me a lot of the dog, if any of y'all have watched back to... Uh, some of my stuff that I've put out, uh, a dog that I thought the world of, even though she died very young, a dog named Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie was the first one I had that looked like this black and white. Now, old Pepper here, he's out of a, out of a dog named, uh, I believe it's Hunt, uh, and, uh, and Ellie. And, uh, you know, he come out black and white and, uh, kind of favored his mom a little bit. And, uh, but... The one thing about him, uh, this is a dog that I breed a lot. Now, he's a rabbit dog first and foremost, so don't mistake uh, me saying that I breed him as he's just a breeding dog. That's not what he is. He is he is a go-getter, and he's got a great mouth on him, a tremendous amount of hunt, and has what I like to have in a dog that I'm wanting to breed. But the funny thing about Pepper that he does, and he does it very consistently, is he throws a different color dog than you would expect. When you breed, you know, you think uh, as a breeder, you, you've done it a while, you think you know what's what's gonna happen. You breed a, a black and white dog like this to a blue tick, uh, and you think, okay, I'm gonna get black and white and I'm gonna get blue ticks, right? Well, Pepper here will throw you one of the prettiest looking chocolate red ticks or just red ticks that you've seen but really dark chocolate red tick coming out of this um and uh it's just funny to watch that happen and uh i'm gonna video some uh some litters i'm gonna video uh, a little bit of some daughters of his to show you what i mean and you say well david what has this got to do with anything I i'm trying to use this in a positive way to encourage us there's a lot of times when things that are, we've got traits that are inside of us that other people don't expect sometimes. Um, you know, it should be that we can expect everybody to be honest, but that's just not the case uh, all the time, especially if you're a guy selling dogs. If you're a guy selling dogs, you're usually lumped into a category. And those of you who have talked to me very much at all know the first thing I'm gonna tell you is you have to assume I'm a liar when I'm talking to you about dogs because that covers the majority of guys selling dogs. Now I'm not trying to stir a bunch of stuff up and say that every, you know, every guy that sells a dog is a liar, but it's just amazing how much lying goes on in the dog selling world. How, you know, they'll tell you everything under the sun to sell you a dog. And so a lot of people are not expecting honesty when they come here. And um, when they get honesty on what the dog is, um, it's, it's a welcome thing. And in our lives, we have to have things that are inside of us that, that, you know, people should be able to expect of us, but yet people out in the world, they don't expect a guy that's a honey, you know, the, the world paints hunters as, you know, in a bad light. We're just a bunch of guys that want to kill animals. That's what we are. They don't, they don't do anything, uh, uh, as far as promoting the, the side of us that's, you know, humane, you know, a lot of your PETA people and all that. They think all we do is throw our dogs in a dog box and keep them hemmed up. They don't understand anything about what we do. And uh, so we have, we have a job uh, to go out and show some kindness and some different things that maybe that world's not expecting, but uh, that's just in general terms for Beaglers. But I want to challenge you in your personal life. Is there some things people might not expect of you that's inside you that they might not expect right off the bat? You know... There's a whole lot of things that you can apply this to, but the one thing that stands out to me right off the bat with this is, you know, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at your heart. And, you know, there's a whole lot of, quote, religious people that are, 
you know, judging people right off the bat, you know, because, well, that guy has this or that guy has that. So, you know, therefore he don't look like he's, he's the type that would go to church. And, you know, he might love, he might love God uh, more than some of the ones that go in the door every Sunday because we're looking at the outward appearance as humans. God's looking at the heart. Nobody knows your heart by just looking at you. Now, your actions will say a whole lot about your heart and what's in your heart. But I challenge you to let some traits come out of you that are good traits that people don't necessarily expect. Uh, there's some things that are deep down inside of all of us that are good traits, and there's some things that are bad traits. And we got to keep those bad traits at bay and make changes there. But we need to make uh, good things come out of us. And you know, a lot of people will be shocked. Like I said, the first time that I bred this dog here, I expected all the dogs to look black and white because that's what a blue tick looks like when they're born. They're not born with ticks on them. That starts happening at about three or four weeks old. So I expected all black and white dogs. I mean, after all, I bred this black and white dog with a totally dark blue tick uh, or a dog that just barely had a brown head blue tick. I bred him to all that different stuff. But as you will see, there are some dark, dark chocolate tick, red ticks that come out of him. And you say, well, how do you know it's not coming out of the female? Because I'm telling you, every time, pretty much, at least 95% of the time that I have bred this dog right here uh, to different females, I have gotten one to two red ticks, uh, chocolate red ticks, out of him. And so uh, now I expect it. You know, the thing is, it took me by surprise at first, and now I kind of expect it in each litter that he throws. But uh, what are people expecting out of you? What are people shocked and surprised that happened that comes from you that they didn't see coming? And then are you consistent? Are you consistent in that to where people can start to expect that from you? Or is it a one-time thing? You know, if he'd have had just one one time and that had been it, I wouldn't have thought too much about it. But he is consistent in what he throws there. And that's what we got to have is a consistency. Yes, it's good to have a surprise every now and then uh, that someone's not expecting. But we have to have consistency in uh, the way we go about our life. Consistency produces... Uh, a trend and produces a way that we walk you know if you walk the same way all the time you create a path and uh, the problem a lot of times is people walk one way one time and then they walk a total total different way another time and they're not wearing out the grass creating a path for people to follow so what are you doing to be consistent in your life to create a path and uh, and what are you following and then what is it about you that people would not expect that's a good thing that can come out of you? Search your heart today. It could be something small uh, that you can start with. But just try that random act of kindness thing that we've talked about before. And just, uh, just go out and do something in the world today that people aren't expecting from us. Because right now the world is filled with all kinds of hatred, all kinds of things. We've lost the race of mankind to concentrate on everybody worried about this this stuff that's going on with racism and and in a lot of ways a lot of different things that are being said by by certain sides all sides it, it, to me racism if you're excluding everybody else except your race that's racism i know you get off on a tangent on that but you know god commands us to love one another and you know if we were to look at the heart and not look at the outside We'd look past the color of skin, and we would see mankind. And after all, we are all created in the image of God. It says man was created in the image of God. Not a certain color man was, in, you know, white, black, it doesn't matter. That's not what was created in the image of God. All, all were created in the image of God. So we've got to love our fellow brethren down here. And right now, it's pretty easy to be different because you see the world, the way the world's going. It's not hard to stand out. You know, when he produces one of these chocolate in the litter, that puppy stands out. Not because it's better than the others. It just stands out because it's different. It looks different. Okay? And uh, I think in some ways we need to stand out by being different. 
uh, in a world that's filled with a lot of the same old mess, we need to be different. We need to stand for core values. So I hope this has helped you today. And uh, we can all learn a lesson from old Pepper here on producing something from within that most people never saw coming. And uh, so I hope you enjoy that. And I, I'm going to show you these videos uh, of these uh, other offspring of him, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But Here's a blue tick named Shonuff. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. And she was bred to Pepper. And true to form, we got what you would expect to have, blue ticks in the making right there. But looky here. Here's one red chocolate one that he threw. So there's another litter that he's done that with. I'll show you another one. Now here's another blue tick, Nikki D. He's being bashful. Nikki D belongs to a hundred shoulders in Virginia. Look at here what we got. There's Nikki D one more time. No red tick in Nikki D. We got three blue ticks. Pepper threw two chocolate. They're turning red tick. No need to ask about these dogs here. I'm not sure if any of this will be sold. Uh, just showing this to further the point that Pepper has a tendency uh, every time to throw what you wouldn't expect. He's consistent in throwing something you never saw coming in a chocolate pup coming out of a blue tick bred to a black and white dog. See this real pretty, almost solid chocolate female. That is, uh, that is Lacey. And Lacey come out a little blue. I don't have a little blue in there. But Pepper's also the daddy to that one. And uh, chocolate as can be, coming out of a blue tip and a black and white. Sorry for all the noise, but the kennel gets loud sometimes. They all want camera time, I guess. But uh, just a unique trait to Pepper. This beautiful red tick up here is also out of little blue and Pepper. This is Ginger. And you can see that's not what you would expect coming out of a black and white dog in a blue tip. Anyhow, very consistent on what you're going to get there out of pepper. At least one in every litter. I hope you enjoyed those videos of uh, the different dogs that uh, he's produced that I've, that I've kept here. I've sold some different ones, but I have kept some. And uh, yes, they are different and uh, pretty dogs. Now, I'm not saying they're any more pretty than the other ones. It's just odd to me that he could produce that. Uh, it's a trait that I never saw coming. And the, uh, the other thing is, is they, they're not just pretty dogs. They do, he puts the hunt in them as well. When you, when you mix him with these females, he puts the hunt in them and he puts the looks in them. Uh, even the blue ticks all look fine. Not a thing in the world wrong with the blue ticks. It just, the, the correlation I was trying to draw is that it's something that I never saw coming. That was a, a good thing. Uh, just a little added bonus that he does. And, uh, God is good and, uh, he can, you know, he can, he can let us learn lessons from dogs. So that was the, that was the correlation of everything today. I hope it's helped you and I hope that you will, uh, make a path by walking the same way in the right way so others can follow. Have a great day.